What's going on guys? Big BB back with the Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, you know what I'm going to say. Say it with me. Free 99 Marketplace Find. Not one, not two, but three. Yep. I said it before, I just, I can't be beat. <laughs> Let's take a look. Alright guys, you know the drill, if you're not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. Whether I'm just gaming, whether I'm doing builds, you can see everything on my daily life. I also upload it to the YouTube Shorts and TikTok. Be sure to follow me on all the socials, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. What do you think? Do you think this is like the best free 99 score I've gotten so far? I'll tell you one thing though, I just, I just, <laughs> I said it in my last video with Golden Tea, which is actually right next to you, which is going out uh, in a couple of days. I just keep, um, I keep uh, just one-upping myself. I'm just always ever, ever so surprised at what I'm able to pull off. This one was a doozy. I picked up all three of these. Guy had it up on Facebook Marketplace. They were in storage. But the main thing was he wanted somebody to take all three machines. Luckily I have my RAM and they all three fit. <laughs> yes, I learned that uh, I could basically put three pinball machines uh, on a pickup truck. So what a little story time I have with this one. Again, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Forgot, I have to end my social media plug part, but yes. Go, follow. <laughs> now this right here, I'll be honest, this is probably the most packed um, I've ever had in my garage. Uh, yeah, this is packed, I can't do anything. I have probably maybe about like, I don't know, six feet deep, and then like, you know, 10 feet wide or whatever long of like walking space. But damn, these machines took up a lot of space. Not to mention this guy had it in a storage unit. And uh, yeah, it, it took up a lot of space in his storage unit. So uh, it's a pretty cool little journey. This is, uh, it's pretty fun, just like I did on the last one. I'm gonna read off and I'll even show you a picture of like the Facebook ad. Uh, it's pretty crazy. This one is one of those that I messaged and the guy didn't reply or I, I would say he didn't even look at the, his DMs until about two weeks later. Again, it's got quite a little thing to it. These machines right now though, they were basically listed as not working. Um, I have my personal opinions on EM machines. I am not really a fan of EM machines, but again, like I always say, anytime you get an opportunity for free 99, uh, you grab it and then you ask questions later. Um, I will say though, of the three, one fully works. I got that one up after a couple of fuses that were replaced. I am working on Stagecoach right now, which I'm still learning. And then this one, I haven't even attempted to even power this on. Uh, this is known as a wood rail. Again, a lot of stuff. There's so much history going on. It's kind of crazy though. You can see the EMs and then my WF Royal Rumble uh, DMD era game, or uh, Solid State if you want to say. Uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy. A lot of history has gone through this garage and uh, this, is, this is just, it's been awesome. Now let's start with the basics. Let's always start with the Facebook ad itself. Again, I got these on Facebook Marketplace. On the ad, he had a picture of this and then he had a picture of the Hollywood. Next to the Hollywood though was this stagecoach, but the back box was down. Originally when I saw the picture on the ad, I thought it was two machines. Then I looked very carefully and I'm like, oh crap, there's actually three machines in this. So here we go, I'm gonna post it over here. It should be over here. Um, I will post it here exactly what it says. It says, many years ago, I used to enjoy restoring old pinball machines. And after several years and going to my storage unit at Westies, I found three more. One was a very old early wooden pinball machine that needs a total restore. So I already saw that. The other two are from the 70s and both functioned when stored. 
I no longer have the time or inclination to do anything with these. So if this is something that you enjoy or are into and would like to pick up an older pinball machine wanna, and want to come pick them up, they are yours. So I read that. Again, the ad did say free uh, and it, it was just titled as Pinball Machines. I obviously went, I always remove that generic high is this available because even when people message me and the first thing it says is high is this available, I don't even reply to it because it's most likely like, most of the time people are like, oh, I accidentally pressed it. Like, yeah, great. Uh, I always erase it. I originally wrote to him, I will take both. And then I um, rewrote again and I said, I will take all of them. I thought again, like I said in the picture, I thought it was only two machines and I looked very carefully, it's actually three of them. Now what's very crazy with this, I messaged them and you know, some people, Facebook, you could see when somebody, you know, looks at your, your message, um, you know, I usually write, I wrote the message and then maybe like an hour later, I'll take a look. He didn't like look at it, then I totally forgot about it. All of a sudden, like two weeks after I wrote to him, he replied and he goes, hey Vic, if you could come by today, I'm going to be in New York at like 3.30, come in and take them. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'm going to take all of them. That's what he also wrote me. He's like, you, you're going to take all of them, correct? He's like, I was like, yeah. So anyway, we scheduled it and I went and I go, I went to go pick it up. Very cool guy. Uh, kind of a cool um, history with him. He's, he was like a skier and his wife was a roller derby player. Pretty cool. I was like, whoa, that is so like, you know, every time like you meet someone, like you want to hear like their background. Cause I'm like, how did you get into this? And he's like, I used to really like doing this. Uh, he unfortunately had surgery recently. Um, he did something with his back. He, he, that was basically was what he was trying to say. He's like, I can't work on these cause I can't even like arch my back anymore. And I'm like, oh man, you know. Anyway, very cool guy. He actually had a pinball dolly. I bought my Harbor Freight dolly. He's never seen a Harbor Freight one. He's like, wow, this is actually pretty cool. The biggest thing he said to me goes, Vic man, I cannot help you load these things my back, I got surgery. I said, dude, it's perfectly fine. I have the Harbor Freight dolly. I use that dolly with my Royal Rumble. I'm pretty sure these are not as heavy as my Royal Rumble. And uh, he's like, Vic, as long as you know that you have to hold them out, A-okay, perfectly fine. Um, and yeah, it was about an hour and a half it took to take everything out. He had them in storage, they were on their legs. Um, the back box was down on this and the Hollywood was down. This wood rail, the back box doesn't come off. It, I loaded this in the truck like this. With the back box attached, I had it right against the truck. I even strapped the back box, so like, you know, in case of wind. But yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just crazy. Again, I always say, just go take the time, look at Facebook Marketplace, and you never know what, you, what you'll find. You never know. Now, again, I came prepared. I bought the dolly. I even bought my whole entire ratchet set which was very important, good thing I bought it. He did tell me, Vic, I have no tools. And then if you look very carefully, like the pictures, uh, two of the machine, well, number one, the, the leg bolts are not like your standard leg bolts on like a newer machine, like my Jersey Jacks, um, or even the, like the legs I use for like virtual pinball. Uh, it's actually very funny, one, two, three, Four. I have experienced four different like nut size heads on a ratchet on pinball machines. So you're always better better safe than sorry. Just bring your entire ratchet set. Um, but again, it was pretty cool. The Hollywood, the actual back box, you could detach entirely. It's got Molex connectors to it. This stagecoach here does not. So luckily, I had an, I bought like six ratchets. You know, the actual like ratchet strap. I bought like six of them. So I did have to ratchet strap the head to this. Again, on the Harbor Freight dolly, I lifted up the, the pin, took the legs off, and then we just went right out. Luckily, his like storage unit was on the first level. And one, two, three, bought it in, and I just, you know, pushed it into the truck. And uh, I'll probably show you a picture real quick of what it looked like strapped to the truck. Again, I had two straight, and then one sideways, kind of like half on the tailgate. Again, it was a, it was a, it was a wild journey getting these. Now, as I'm there dismantling again, you know, taking apart three machines, uh, you know, I was there for about an hour and a half. He was telling me that he received over 400 DMs on this ad. And I said to him, I was like, I'll be honest, dude, anybody, if you're like me, anybody that sees free, 
they message you. They don't care what it is. They don't care if it works. They see free, like me, I see free. I'm just gonna go and take it. He was actually very, he, he said that he like replied to a couple of people, but majority of the messages were only people that wanted one machine. Someone was like, hey, I want the wood rail. Or somebody's like, hey, I want the Hollywood. And he's like, I want some, I need somebody to come and take all this. He was like moving to like Massachusetts. So he's like, I was in Massachusetts. I'm coming to New York. I'm not going to do four, three different trips, you know, to get rid of these. Uh, so he's like, I'm happy that you're taking all of them. I wanted somebody to take all of them. I was like, I'm just happy that I'm here. And I, you mess, you, you looked at my message and you replied to me, but to get over 400 D and he showed me his phone. It just kept going and it was it was messages that weren't even seen like you know we could see it on facebook it's like it starts out as like bold font and then it's like little font i was just like wow i'm very lucky that you uh saw mine and then you replied to mine and he's like yeah you were also very fast to reply and all that that's also another thing i mean my phone is strapped to me so yes <laughs> i'm happy i'm happy it all worked out now this is pretty cool. Again, these are EMs. I'm not really a fan of EMs. I've never worked on EMs. Now you might be saying, Vic, why did you get these if you don't even like EMs? It's free. And I also don't mind, you know, trying and learning something new. Uh, you know, something that I may not like, maybe I'll actually like after I get my hands kind of dirty with it. So if you look very carefully, these machines, they're not like LCDs, they're not DMDs. There's, there's actual score reels. There's reels in this. And if you look at the wiring in the back box, it is, it is scary. It's, it's, I think there's the wiring just here is like the same amount of wires that you would find on like an entire like DMD era pin. It is crazy. Now, again, uh, when I went to go pick these up, the guy said that they worked before he bought them in storage, except for this one. And uh, they've been in storage for like six years. So he's like, you know, it is what it is. Um, I opened up this one first. I had the keys to this one. So this one was like my first one. It had the Molex connectors. I was able to connect the back box real quick, in and out. You know, it probably took me about like 20 minutes to just put the legs on it, done. Uh, I looked up, I lifted up the, the play field, which is kind of crazy because it's like wood. It's like a wood leg that you lift up. I'll show you that on the stage coach. Um, I did see two fuses blown. So, I change out the fuses, I go to plug it in, I hit the, the switch here, and I'm like, uh, just like what you see here, I'm like, there's, there's nothing happening. And you know, normally when you turn on something, like there's lights and such, I'm over here, I went to go hit the flippers, and then I wound up hitting the start button, and then it booted. Uh, I got pretty excited, so it's pretty cool. Flippers work, dings, bells, Awesome, like I said, I did have to change a couple of the uh, the fuses. Oh, there goes the drain. As you can see the reels, wild. And uh, you know, this one wasn't too bad. It took me about, you know, 20 minutes. It's actually got a very cool mech here in the middle where if you hit it in the lane, it throws the ball up four scoops, uh, four saucers, you should say. It's, uh, it's cool. There are five balls a game. There's only one pinball in this and in, in all of these. It's uh, it was interesting. This also has four stand-up uh, drop targets, I should say. It's got four drop targets, which I wasn't expecting that. Again, the game is Hollywood, so there are a couple of Hollywood uh, characters. You can see um, it's not on the back box, but in the play field is like Frankenstein, Charlie Chaplin, and I'm hitting these drop targets. Awesome. I do want to see if I can get the uh, the center lane for you. Hold on. And it's crazy, the actual like buttons on the play field, those are actually bumped groove buttons. So you can see, it's very cool. I did have to adjust one saucer, I had to fix a screw. This way the ball would kind of jump or activate the switch. But yeah, this is, uh, this is EM right here. It's just bells and things. You're not gonna have music, you don't have any uh, uh, skill shots. <laughs> There's no multi-ball on this. Uh, it is what it is. This is how uh, pinball kind of started it, basically. Pop bumpers, 100 points. Very cool. And also, there's not much of a tilt or a pitch on these machines. All in all, this one right here, just seeing it alive, I'm like, oh, I might have to do some LEDs to this. 
but I actually have this up for sale right now. And yeah, one out of three working. And yes, I said in all the other videos, business is business. That's why I'm shooting this video right now. Um, this one up for sale and sold within about an hour. So uh, today it's the 4th of July. I'm just shooting this video and then going out. Person's gonna pick this up tomorrow. And uh, yeah, good to go. Now the other two, uh, there's, there, there is work to be done on the other two. We're gonna move on now to Stagecoach. Again, these two machines on the end is by a company called Chicago Coin. Um, again, never, uh, never dabbled into EMs too much. And all honesty, on Facebook Marketplace, EMs don't, you can get them on the low. Um, so that's why I'm pretty sure that like what I priced it at, especially from Hollywood working, I think it's very fair. Now, in all honesty, right now I have these two up as like a combo deal. Take both of these and uh, haul them away. Uh, what's crazy is the Stagecoach, I plugged it in and it worked. I actually have a video, I posted it on my socials. If you go look at it, it's on the YouTube shorts. My kiddo was playing this one. Then I went to go play it. I activated something and you just heard a humming going on and then out, like a light. Opened up, I changed one amp, uh, one fuse, which is a 15 amp fuse. Plugged it in, I got it working. And uh, again, I, I did something, like I guess like it was like the score, I don't know. I did something with the score. And then now it just, it's in like this constant loop. Let's just see if I plug this. That's all I get. Now there's two, there's two um, coils here and they like, they're just constantly on and you know usually on any pinball machine when a coil is constantly on uh you don't want to keep the power on it or else you blow a fuse or even worse you might damage a, a board to it looking online like these reels in the back they're very sensitive it's almost like somebody said it's trying to zero out what it wants all the coils to be at zero um yeah, there's just a lot to it. I'm gonna take you back here and I'll show you the, the wiring, but I've been battling this for like three hours. And it's crazy, if I actually move the reel a little bit, um, and you know, somebody on pin side said, you gotta see, um, uh, you know, there might be gunk touching the connector. I'm right now gonna like move the reel and then maybe you'll be able to see actual like lighting happen. So let's see if I hit this now. Oh. See, like I moved the reel and now I got light. So it's like a contactor is not a, uh, it's not like something's not finishing and such. Yeah, I, what am I talking about? But yes, uh, that, that, is, that is what it is. I'm just gonna real quick while you're there, um, it's crazy. The lockdown bar keeps the play field locked in. So you need the lockdown bar unlocked and this just goes up. This has a nice little kind of wooden car hood set up and, uh, yeah, we're open. <laughs> Wait until you see the bottom of this. Look at this. Take a look now at like, just look at this. This is terrifying. <laughs> There's schematics here. It's, uh, it's wild. So that, that you hear this motor is constantly going. I have the power off. Don't worry. Uh, and also this doesn't have a switch on the bottom like the Hollywood does. So like I said, there's just, there's so much going on. It's, uh, it is wild. You know, I'm the type where I don't like to just kind of come here and click around, but let's just see real quick. I'm going to give it power. I have not, I never touched that dial. So let's see what happens. Who knows? The game might work now. Here we go. Yep. Yep. So that's uh, that's what we get. Last but not least, we'll talk about the wood rail. This one is like it's cool. Um, I plugged it in. Nothing happened. Uh, I actually made sure to plug it in while the garage was open because in case this thing lit up, I could just wheel it out. I know logic, right? Uh, <laughs> um, this one, uh, shockingly, this one has the most um, messages. People want this one. 
And uh, again, I'm not the type that's ripping people off. I don't have this up for a thousand dollars. That's kind of stupid. Um, I right now have both of these right here, the stagecoach and the marathon. I have them both for 300. If I could get 200, cool. Again, yes, they are free. Um, you know, oh Vic, you got. It is what it is. I had to go out to Yonkers to go and pick these up. I needed an hour and a half of my life to drag them out. Oh Vic, boo hoo. Whatever, you know what I mean? You get the fucking haters all day, but it is what it is. This one is cool. I just, the rubbers on this are, are dead. The rubbers are beat to hell on this. Again, I powered it in. I didn't even, I didn't even lift the, the play field up on this one. Um, I really have no desire to. The legs, the legs alone on this are actually wood. Um, and one of the legs is split. And uh, there's nothing you can really do about that. The lockdown bar is made of wood. Like, that's wild to me. That's a... Uh, that is crazy, uh, but yeah, I'm at least happy that I got the, the the Hollywood working. That was pretty cool. That's it. That's all. Let me go take it to the rear. I'm gonna show you the back box on like Stagecoach because when you see the you saw that wiring, when did see the back box on these with these reels? It's wild. This is again the rear of Stagecoach. There's a there's a lot going on here. Look at that. That is uh wild is like the word it is it's crazy now the issue i have here is these two reels here these these coils are constantly active and i don't know if you could see it there yeah you could see this these actual like spider legs they're actually connectors like they're um they're contacts i should say and you can see the board has like metal so like the game knows what number it's set to so somebody in the forum said you got to make sure that they're fully reset so what I've been doing is that I basically set this up, which I think technically is at like 10, it's at nine. Uh, and then once I give it power, it basically releases. It releases the coil. Oh! Oh, <laughs> see, that, that, was, that was good. My coils are still active though, but um, that motor inside now is just, is just spinning now. Again, like I said, these two coils that I, that was new. Uh, that was new. <laughs> I'd never seen that go and this go. But then again, I also touched this. So that was interesting to see. This move. Yeah, th this, is what I, this is what I've been doing like, you know, and it's crazy. There's like leaf switches and resets and yeah. Now again, somebody said to make sure that these are totally zeroed out. This now moved. Yeah, I don't want to bore you, but this is what I've been, you want to learn pinball you want to learn something well this is what you do and uh biggest thing you have to remember though you don't want to just keep it constantly on you're gonna fry those coils and then you're gonna have a worse time so yeah i'm smart i'm not i'm not that dumb <laughs> the one last thing to mention about the wood rail it actually has the schematic it had it in the coin door wild again this is a godly marathon I mean, I'm not gonna, this is just like, yes, people are like, Vic, this is a piece of history, you gotta try to scan it. I'll probably try to upload it to like pin side, but yeah, that was crazy to find that in the coin door. Now, the one thing about Stagecoach that was kind of sad, there's no keys to it. So uh, luckily though, I did, I took a flight at screwdriver, I didn't mess up the coin door, don't worry. Um, but that, that came out easily, but yeah. There you guys have it, the three, EM pinball machines, Facebook marketplace find, free 99 marketplace find, I should say. Add it to the books. Unfortunately though, this is not going to stay here for long. Um, one of the three are sold. I'm pretty sure this would be out by the end of the week. I'll be brutally honest. Um, I had them in the garage and after an hour, it smells like a 1960 basement in here. Like with like the wood paneling walls. That's what it smells like in the garage right now. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen with these old, you know, wood pins, but luckily it's the garage. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. Whereas like if it was like my living room, uh, my wife would kill me. <laughs> but yes, I just have that aroma in here. Um, it's nostalgia aroma. But yep, yeah, there you guys have it. Vic VP Game Case Arcades. <laughs>